And this would be your good lady here on the other side of you. All right, it hello, is, yeah. darling. How are you? Good, thank you. I've got going back some time. Are you trying to make a connection with a Bob Hope or a Robert Hope? Yes. All right, darling. Let's have the mic. Is that a yes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if this is your husband, who's Malcolm? <laughs> you are kidding. This should be a romance before you met your husband, is that right? Yes. But you met him at primary school. <laughs> You're trying to make a connection tonight, I want to say, with another lady or a gentleman, <laughs> Amy Winehouse. Yes. Right, and Amy's come through tonight, and the mess, thank you, why not? Yes. <laughs> Bloody hell. Thank you. You met your husband in Liverpool, didn't you? Yes. That's coming through very strong. But I'd like a, in a nightclub party? Yes. That's what Amy's telling me yes. about that. And she's, she's singing me the song that was on, it's like a 70s track. Was this in the 70s? Mm. Right. But I want to say it's about 78. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amy knows. Don't panic. All right, darling. <laughs> what? She's saying, how was Tenerife? Fantastic. Oh, lovely. Bless you. OK. She said, did, and did you burn a little bit? Yes. Yeah, she's saying, you've got to be back to 30, she's saying. She's very health conscious now she's dead. <laughs> did you regret killing the prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got you here in a car situation, and this would be the lady of the night here. And I've got you wagging her like that, <laughs> just slapping her, slapping her and slapping her. She's flying all over the place, and you are swatting and swatting and swatting. And I don't know if you don't know your own strength, but you catch her on the back of the head, and she flies forward, hits like the windscreen, and then the dash, and then falls into the footwell. And, and you didn't tell anyone about this, did you? And, and then you quite callously pick her up and chuck her out of that car, and you drive on your way. And no, wait, not a prostitute, a wasp. <laughs> I am real and I do I do have a gift and I can prove it to you and let, let me explain if I can I, I mean I could come round your house tonight and do you a private reading okay now it's 45 quid but you would go away from that thinking about 70 to 75 percent of that reading is true and accurate for your life then I could go around this fella's house that the sound guy here I could do him a private reading, okay? Word for word, exactly the same private reading I did for you, same one, and he would go away thinking about 70 to 75% of that reading is true and accurate for his life, the same one. Now, you can't tell me that's not a gift. Unbelievable, I thought it was, it was all a joke. Um, but he was absolutely spot on. He, uh, he knew a little bit more about us than I, than I initially expected. Very, very clever. Very, very well eerie. done. Very, very well eerie. done. Very well done. <laughs> I've always said, I don't believe it's true. I need to go somewhere and have it happen to me yeah. to believe it's true. And, and I thought the bloke before us, I thought he was planted. I thought he was planted, and then it happened to us. <laughs> Unless he's been telling stories, and I don't think he has. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, it was really, really good. Really good. Because I just thought it was a spoof and he was he was going to be funny and it was, you know, but he just picked out all the facts and he was spot on, absolutely spot on. Lee, what's going on now? Yeah, well, take it and quick. Oh. It's plugged in oh. the wall. It's, 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 oh. a, you can't take it. Just wait and it's 